This morning, an awesome accomplishment for some local high school students in about 45 minutes from now, a satellite built by students at Thomas Jefferson High School for Science and Technology in Fairfax County will be deployed from the International Space Station further into space. The students will then try to contact the space station using their satellite and we're joined this morning via Zoom by the director of the Robots Lab, Kristen Cusco and project lead Koi Den. Good morning to the both of you. Thanks so much for joining us. Um, Kristen, mm -hmm. I'm going to ask and start with you about just it's so remarkable, impressive what these students have done. It's a culmination of what I think seven years of just hard work. I'm sure a lot of after school hours. Um, you must be so proud. Oh, it's just incredible what these kids have been able to do um, with dedication and hard work and just like stick to itiveness. They can they can accomplish anything. Uh, talk to us a little bit about the program itself and this satellite in particular. I mean, this is pretty remarkable. I can imagine it took a lot of time, a lot of effort, a lot of science, as you know. Walk us through that. Sure. And so I picked up the program about three years ago. And what it was is a, a former student had um, applied for a NASA grant to launch the satellite. And we the school had won the grant. Um, when we picked it up, we had gotten to the point where we had purchased a whole bunch of space grade components and we had to figure out how to make those different components work together. Mm -hmm. This is something that like PhD kids do, candidates do, um, uh, master's degree candidates do, not necessarily something that high school kids can do. So it took a little while. It took uh, a lot of research, a lot of hard work to kind of get those components to work together, to write all the software, to make the drivers, make the um, hardware components talk to one another. And that that's essentially what uh, the students did. And I'm sure it took a lot of teamwork as well as we look at this photo okay. of the team. And Koi, um, I, I understand that you all designed, built, and coded the satellite. How tough was that? Um, yeah, that was obviously really tough. So there are a lot of considerations that goes into it. Um, I know personally I worked on the um, coding aspect of it, and that was, you know, like 12 hours a week. It was very long hours after school, but I think we're all really excited to have this finally go up in the air. Well, before we let you go, we got to have a better understanding. What's the mission of the satellite? What are the, what's the objective for this thing? Um, so the objective is to essentially test the Iridium radio, which is essentially like a satellite radio similar to a satellite the network used by satellite phones, and we're testing how well that works for satellite communications in space. Wow, Koi and Kristen, thank you so much. Uh, just truly an inspiration to, to us, and also, of Absolutely. course, lots of students out there. Very bright yeah. team. Just one, one last thing. Uh, the kids worked so incredibly hard. It's just an amazing feat, and we're just so incredibly proud. Yeah, we're, we're yes, all we, proud. Yes, we're all proud. Yes. Thank you both. We appreciate it.